YouTube. What's up, baby? <laughs> Said that for my mom. She loves it when I say that. So this here is uh, the goddess who gave me life, who uh, who created me, along with uh, her her uh, friend, who are, you know my dad, whatever. But Miss <laughs> um, Darlene Lyons. Hey. So um, we're going to talk about her journey to health. Okay. Um, quiet on the set, people. <laughs> but um, we're going to talk about her journey uh, to health. She just came back from the gym. Ooh, how old are you, Ma? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. You just went to the gym. Whole hour. Whole, whole oh man. Hour. So what I'm trying to do, we're gonna to try to get my mom to start vlogging or blogging or something like that because we feel, I feel, there is a niche for um the 50 and up population to be healthier, to live longer, to enjoy life, and just do what it is that they want to do. So I just wanted to get my mom. Used to being in front of the camera and talking, and you know, we're gonna go from that. You know, we're gonna try to get our YouTube started. So, Ma, um, how do you feel now? How do you feel compared to a year ago, two years ago? Happy, happy, yeah, lighter, lighter, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, oh, it's just it's different, it's right. really different. So, what motivated you to make this change? You know, after 50 plus years living one way or eating a certain way what what motivated you to change i just wasn't happy with how i looked hmm. i wasn't happy with i just wasn't happy wasn't happy that, that's a, that's a good um a good a good uh, answer because mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons that people People don't are not honest with themselves. Uh, they don't come out and say, "I'm unhappy with the way I look," right. you know. And people feel like that's body shaming, which is not. It's just being honest with yourself. If you're not happy with the way you, the way you look, change it. Right. You have the 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 power to do that. And so let me ask you, how much weight did you lose? Uh, let's say uh, eighty. Three pounds. 83 pounds. Ooh. So how did you do? Did you work out every day? What did you no, do? I didn't work out at all. You didn't work out at all? <laughs> I didn't work out at all. You didn't work out at all. So how did you lose this weight? Well, I just started slow. You know, I started eliminating stuff. Mm. Eliminating stuff. Eliminating, uh, let's see, sweets. Uh, not all of them, but I eliminated Right, them. right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, started eliminating Meat. I started eliminating cheese, eggs, dairy, uh, bread. Um, now you know yeah, people. Kool Aid. Think, Kool Aid. Oh, sweet tea. You know people won't think you're lying. Hey, you can't yeah. lose weight like that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. You it gotta eat meat. Where'd you get your protein? I know. I know. And you, it was one pound a week. One pound One a and week. a half pounds a week, maybe two pounds. And so that's a long time. Right. You know, to right. lose 83 pounds and, you know, it's just like two years. Two years? Yeah. You know, I started mm. slow, you know, because it wasn't easy. Right, right. It, I, it, can, it I definitely easy. understand I that. I just had that salad <laughs> with chicken on it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely understand salad that. Salad with chicken, chicken and cheese. That right. was like, oof, that was yeah. the best thing. And then. You know, I'm right now. I don't have to have any meat on my side. Go on, girl. Relax. But, um, <laughs> so, uh, okay, so that motivated you. And just what is the difference you see in yourself or in your body now that you lost that weight and you change your eating habits? Oh, I can move better. But that is true. We, <laughs> running up and down the stairs, running with my son at the soccer field. That was crazy. I was like, look at my mama. I Never feel better running too. Yeah. <laughs> Look, okay. I don't have a lot of weight when I'm running. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. Yeah. So, any you know, any pains or illness that you've had at the that kind of like went away or anything that changed yeah. with that? Um, I stand up all day, so my feet would hurt, my knees would hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, it would hurt to walk up and down the steps. 
Um, you know, so I had to do something. Right. Because being 57, I didn't want to be 59 and can't walk, can't, you know, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to not be able to walk or stand. Right. So, and getting rid of the weight helped me be able to walk and stand. So, eight hours standing doesn't bother me. Oh, oh, girl. Okay. Um, okay. So, you weren't able to stand. What else can we say? What else can we say? Uh, any, anything else, Luna? What's, what's, uh, you know, I like so, my clothes the way they fit me. Oh, you do? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, you, so I, what you're saying is when you go to the beach, you're going to wear a two piece? Uh, I might. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know about that. You know, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm just, that's for you two. We just talked about it. I might. I might. I might. Okay. Okay. So, what would you recommend for a 50 and up uh, person who is thinking about changing their diet or changing the way they? They eat, move, or are changing their lifestyle. Period. Uh, what would be something you could tell them to do to try to motivate them? It's got to be something that you want to do. You don't have to do it fast. You can yeah. do it slow. You know, just take it one day at a time, one week at a time. Mm -hmm. I mean, every week, um, every Sunday, I would weigh. Not right. everybody likes to do that, but that just holds me accountable. Right. You know, um, and it's it's a joy to get on the scale and see one pound. Mm. You know, every week one pound. It might not seem like a lot, but over a month's time, yeah. one a week, four pounds, two months, mm -hmm. eight pounds, and you know, okay. it's just happy when I see that number go down. I'm happy too. I I feel so. <laughs> look at my mama. She's just a smiling all the time, it doing was, her thing. You know, I never can. I, I don't see it like mm. everybody else sees it. But when you know, I guess wait. Eight months ago or so, when you came home and I hadn't seen you in about what six six weeks or so, mm -hmm. and Andre kept saying, you just, "I can't wait till you see your mom. I can't wait to see your right. mom." And right. I was like, "When you saw me, you like, oh my God, oh my. <laughs> I couldn't I believe like, it. It was it was amazing. Really? Did I lose yeah. that much weight? Yeah. Did I look that different? <laughs> yes, yes. And I make sure that I show everybody this picture. This picture right here motivates people to do better. I know a lot of people who I've shown this picture to and they're like, can you send that picture to me? I got to send it to my parents. And you are really motivating people. And that's why we got to get you in front of this camera and we got to get you to start doing some videos to help other people to show them that it's possible. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are afraid to do it because of one, what people will say, mm -hmm. you know, you know, I'm sure you got, you look sick. Yes. Um, I got that all the time. Please don't lose any more weight because right. you look like you just, ugh, you just look bad. So, but the way you look before didn't look sick, but the mm -hmm. way you look now makes you look sick, you know? And it's just mm -hmm. crazy that people say that, that when you're on your path to a happier place, you have this negative energy that's thrown at you every day, right. you know? So for you to able be able to conquer that, throw that stuff out the way and get to where you are now is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like you can maintain this? Is this something you can maintain? I'm going to maintain Oh, you go maintain. I'm going to maintain. Well, you go, I'm girl. Going to maintain. This is year one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've done this two other times. Yeah, three other times. Mm -hmm. uh, I was, I've always been heavy. So, my senior year, I decided I was going to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. So, I got down to like a 11, 12. Then, um, I think it was 1982. Mm -hmm. I lost weight. Okay. And then I had my beautiful son. <laughs> so Sorry. I gained weight <laughs> back again. Okay. So in 1991, I lost weight okay. again. And I had my beautiful daughter. Keisha. So hold on. You, so, you ain't getting pregnant no more. Every time you lost weight. <laughs> oh, no. We're not doing that. Okay. Not okay. Doing just that, making sure. <laughs> It's just like, this is what I want to do. This is mm -hmm. something I've always wanted to do. It's something that I said that, you know, hey, stop. Stop playing. Mm -hmm. Stop playing. Right. You know, you ain't got time. When I turned 50, I was like, well, it's, it's time to start over. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, zero to 50 was a life learning. Right. Now, okay. Let's, let's start enjoying life. Let's start enjoying let's life. Let's have fun. Right. You know? That's what it's about. Life is too short. It yes. is too short. Yeah, especially if you are healthy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Right.
Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we got to do this more often. You got to get mom in front of the camera so we can help people. Because what I told her, we need to get like some juice and put her before and after and say, if you drink this juice right here and this and this this ink right here, you drink this ink, you can be turned into this. You know what I'm saying? We may be able to make some money. Somebody let me know. Um, and also like share this out. You know, a lot, I'm sure a lot of us have parents who maybe be may be unhealthy, and you know, let them know that it can be possible. Okay, what we're going to try to do is when my mom makes her lunch for work and she makes her dinner and when she eats for breakfast or whatever, we're going to try to put that up on here for um, the 50 and over club. Yeah. We got to get her involved in the 40, the uh, what was it, plant base over 40 or something like that. Mm -hmm. We got to get her involved because she's definitely that. Mm -hmm. And she's def definitely an inspiration. <laughs> The lady that was sitting at the place, she told us she was an inspiration. So we got to get her involved. So y'all help me put some comments down, some nice comments. Uh, this is my mother. So anybody say something stupid, I will come find you. Okay. But um, uh, thank you, mom, for doing this interview. You are a beautiful woman goddess. And I love you so much. I love you too. Oh. Hey, you can, uh, you can do it. You can do you it. Can do it. You can do it. You can. I did it. Yes. You know, I used to always look at magazines and look at TV shows at people who actually lost weight, and I would say, you know, I I didn't know anybody mm -hmm. who actually lost weight. You know that I can say, oh, I can touch you, I can see you, mm -hmm. and so I was like, okay, I got to do it. I got to do it. Right. I wanted to do it for my sister. Mm -hmm. You know, so. And you're doing it because people are watching. They see. The difference and they and they act like you said they can see it right. in real life like this is possible right. Right. you know so that's great thanks mom and always like i say life is simple choose to be happy and if anybody that life get out, out that truck, truck. <laughs>